so much, Bill, for everything you're doing for science. Firstly, um, it's a great honour to have you in Australia. Um, and let's just, I wanted to talk to you just about the very new young agency and what advice you might give a young agency um, in its development. Uh, well, be ambitious, that's what I would say. And uh, have programs that take years and programs that take months. And this will keep public interest. And of course, I imagine you'll want to be part of the training for the next Australian astronauts. I imagine you'll want to um, expand or emphasize the deep space network and everything that goes on in Canberra and how cool it is. And I know a lot of space stuff goes on in Western Australia. I guess you want to integrate that. So I don't want to shock you, but I met a dozen people who are native Australians who thought you already had a space program or space agency. But what you have is a bunch of science consortiums, consortia, that work together, but now you have an official agency, and it's fantastic. So it's You're going to love it. Internal voice and then a voice to the world. But it'd be great. Be sure to have fantastic. a cool logo. Yeah, I was going to say, any <laughs> advice on the cool logo? Just make it cool. Okay. A guy asked me, well, should it be the shape of the, of the country? But I don't know. Have a competition. I was going to say, that's the next that's step. Right. Absolutely. But I will say... Just because somebody you know's kid came up with it doesn't mean it's what you want. And just so, just because somebody who's a really expensive advertising agency came up with it, that also may not be what you want. This is true. Just this is good advice. Yeah. Good advice. And speaking of coolness, because you spoke very eloquently about how to make space cool, and that's very important. Um, why is that important, do you think? Uh, I keep saying that space brings out the best in us because we solve problems we've never solved before. Uh, we would not have the internet as we know it without space exploration. We would not have mobile phones as we know them without space exploration. When I was a kid, or how about when my dad was a kid, people marveled at the accuracy of weather reports if they could predict a storm coming two days from now. Now, if the weather reports off 15 minutes, people start whining because our space assets, our satellites and the systems associated with them are so good that we improve the quality of life. Now, recently, you know, in my native United States, these horrible storms, they caused a lot of damage, a lot of hardship, but they would have been a lot worse without the warnings. So that all comes from space. Absolutely. Um, just a little point about LightSail and you're raising funds for LightSail. For those who don't know what LightSail is, um, can you explain it, what it will help us do in space? So the, our LightSail spacecraft, the next one is LightSail 2, is pushed through space by the pressure of sunlight. This sounds extraordinary because you probably know light has no mass. You don't feel it, but if you're in space, in the hard vacuum of space, big enough object that's shiny, you get a push from sunlight. It has momentum, it's pure energy. You can find that either by classical physics and pointing or uh, with relativity, you get the same answer. It's a tiny force, but it's continuous, day and night. Wait, there's no night, you're in space. So this is a very romantic idea that goes back to the 17th century, getting pushed by sunlight. So our light sail spacecraft is a very small spacecraft, publicly funded, that demonstrates this technology. There are a couple missions or space flights that solar sails are perfect for, and we are advancing this technology. So uh, if you want to learn more about it, check out our website, planetary.org. Uh, consider supporting us. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. And so we have a lot of uh, people who are, work at NASA, people who work at SpaceX, who are members of the Planetary Society. We are a non-governmental space interest organization, and we are building these spacecraft because our members just think it's fantastic and enchanting and cool. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you. It's yeah. very inspirational, and it's great that you're including us because that's something that um, we need more of. We, we want to be part of that. We, and I love your sending selfies into space. That, that uh, makes people, people feel People just respond to it. People just think it's cool. They just want to do it. So you send us your selfie. We put it on a 
digital video disc and we send it into space and there's just something satisfying about that. It's like putting a message in a bottle. That is so awesome. I yeah. love that. I'm definitely going to be putting myself in space. Um, just a final uh, piece of advice for an aspiring astropreneur out there. What would you give them? Um, build a second prototype. That's my advice. We all want to try it once. Okay, I'll, now I'll just make these few changes and sell it. Now, to, to make a second prototype, since you asked.